Good morning, Lord. Try that again, but with the microphone somewhere close to my face. Good morning, boys and girls. I am awake this morning, as you can tell. It is Friday, which means it is time for the weekly wrap-up. However, it's also the last day of the month, which means it's time for the monthly wrap-up. And just doing them both right now seems silly, so this is the whole kit and caboodle. So, slow reading month for me. The only three books I finished up were The Paradox Hotel by Rob Hart. I finished up The Sky on Fire by Jen Lyons. And I finished up Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Sad thing is, like I said, I only finished up three books. The nice thing is, uh, four and five star reads across the board. Absolutely loved all of those books. Not a, not a bad apple of the bunch, so can't complain. Mainly, the, as most of you already know, the reason that I didn't get as much reading done last month is we have bought a house. We're closing Monday on that house. And it better go through since we spent $300 on paint uh, for Memorial Day while it was on sale. So, but we're, we're pretty sure everything's going to go through pretty smoothly. Uh, but, you know, there's a, there's a lot of effort going into house hunting and the like. Plus, you know, to pay for that $300 worth of paint, uh, I've also picked up a second job. So I have been super busy. Um, so, yeah, so... TV's been slow. Uh, we just finished up the last episode of Will Trent. So that was the show we finished this month. Um, yeah, nothing much else on the TV front at the moment. Haven't seen any movies. At least nothing that's not already on Netflix. Did start watching Outer Banks Season 2. That show is getting even weirder. I don't know if, it, if, you've, if you've watched it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. That That's it on the reading front. Like I said, super slow month. Obviously, there wasn't a whole lot to add for the week either. Uh, I have gotten about halfway through Wilding Hall, which author Paul Jessup and I are going to be discussing sometime in June. That's what we're leaning towards. Uh, he's probably already finished, but <laughs> I'm running a little behind. Uh, and I'm also about halfway through um, Brain Dump. No, I never use Goodreads as a crutch. Uh, I'm also about halfway through the five, or excuse me, five Broken Blades, no the, uh, by Mike Corland. And uh, that one's a little weird too, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Got to see where this leads. That is pretty much it. I know it's been a slow month. Um, I am about, I know I told you guys, and again, I haven't had a lot of time. I've gotten most of the video done. I just need to edit it. Uh, but I am getting, hopefully, out either Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to get out that video on how to not break the bank while, you know, feeding your reading habit. That That's definitely coming out this week, one way or the other. Like I said, I filmed almost all of it. So unless something is uh, so bad I need to refilm it, it's uh, that'll be out this week. Uh, going forward, got nothing. Yeah, we, I mean, sometime at the end of this month, the beginning of next month, I should have the author interview with Jen Lyons to discuss The Sky on Fire. And then, like, following up in July, uh, again, don't have dates for either one of these yet. I've got the interview with Sarah Reese Brennan. She's got Long Live Evil. Uh, that I have gotten in. Uh, that comes out in July, but I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. Oh, and I did start. I did start on The Good Family. But I'm only a couple chapters in, so not not a whole lot on that front yet. But I told you guys I'm going to read it. It has been started. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it on the front. I know this is super short, but like I said, I have been so, so busy uh, working two jobs. Got to get the house ready. As soon as we, uh, as soon as we close on that, I'm going to be spending most of my free time ripping up carpet and everything else, too, trying to get some stuff done before we move in. So crazy, crazy busy. Sorry I haven't spent more time with you guys. I will try to rectify that. Uh, still trying to keep out at least a couple of videos a week. Obviously, weekly wrap-up, slash monthly wrap-up. And try to drop those uh, interview snippets here and there, even if I don't have a full video. So I appreciate you guys. You know, we're holding steady around. I don't have... Don't have uh, YouTube up right now, but holding steady around 8,000, I think, close to uh, subscribers. 
And, you know, I still see the views coming in. So I appreciate you guys. You know, I thank you so much for this. I am, I'm not monetized. So, you know, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm just putting out these reviews. Hopefully you enjoy them. I have decided I haven't gotten to it yet, but I am going to go ahead and pop up a video review for Stormfront. Um, as always, though, I've got reviews out on Goodreads. And if it was a four or five star, I've also got reviews out on Amazon. And also get a little shop front there. So, you know, if you really, if you don't have, if you don't have a local independent bookstore, those come first. And you need to use Amazon, feel free to swing by my shop. There's always suggestions out there. You buy a book, I think I get like 45 cents or something, but, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. And always, uh, I don't have it up yet. I just got hooked up with them. So not really an ad, but just letting you know. I will get links for that. I just haven't had time to finish setting it up. Uh, but if you like audiobooks, I do suggest Libra.fm. Obviously, I do get the credits from Amazon as well. But if you go through Libra.fm, not, not only do I get a link for that one as well, but you get to pick a local independent bookstore. Remember? Going back to that thing I just said. And they get a piece of the pie, which, you know, Amazon's not shooting your local independent bookstore any money. Uh, Libro.fm is. So, in order, your local independent bookstore, even though I get no money for that, Libro.fm if you want to go audiobook, and uh, if you don't have any other options, and trust me, I've been to a few towns that do not have local bookstores these days. They are becoming, they are becoming more and more of a unicorn. Sad to say, if you're in a big city, you probably have a local independent bookstore. But if you're in a smaller town, I get it. If you want to use my Amazon link, I will not berate you for that. There is no shame if you don't have one near you. All right. That is it. Uh, like I said, don't have much going in the way. As soon as this house stuff is done, <laughs> you know, maybe I'll get a little more reading in. And that is it. I hope everybody has a good one. I hope your week is full of four and five star reads. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later.